We were up early the next day and headed south out of Elko toward Lamoille. It's about 20 miles along State Route 227. At the Towns Park, we meet Jerry Miller, a longtime resident of Eastern Nevada who has worked to create and improve trails all around the state. He calls himself a friend of the Ruby Mountains. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing? Thanks, man. Great. Thanks for meeting us out here. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Ranching community of Lamoille at the Lamoille County Park is just gorgeous here. I mean, the trees are all nicely trimmed and, and well done, and it's just a lovely day. I know. We could spend the day here, but you have plans for us. Where are we going today? We have a plan of starting here at Lamoille at 5,800 feet. It'd be about a 10 mile drive up to the end and we'll stop at Powerhouse, Thomas Creek Campground, the Nature Trail, and then at the road's end. And then from there, we'll hike up to Liberty Pass. So here we are at the newest trail in the Ruby Mountains. This is called the Powerhouse to um, Dabbit Creek, where the Ruby Mountain Heliski um, operations are based out of because this area has beautiful skiing all winter long. So it's a real nice trail where it has mountain bikes, it has horseback, and it's walking. And this is real nice. You see a nice sagebrush pinion juniper into the quake and aspens. You know the moraine, terminal moraine here where the glacier came down and ended and dumped all the rocks into the beautiful farm fields. It's just a lovely sight. It is breathtaking up here. It is gorgeous. So most valleys are V-shaped. This one happens to be U-shaped. This is a glaciated valley. And so you had one glacier coming down through Lamoille Canyon and one on the right fork of Lamoille Canyon. That's what makes this canyon so fascinating. How high are we right here? We're about 7,000 feet right here. So we're already starting to climb. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, we drove the canyon and looked around a little bit at the road's end. But today, we have something more significant in mind. Beautiful blue sky day with some nice clouds over us. We hit Dollar Lakes first, then Lamoille Lake, and then Liberty Pass. There's lots of switchbacks, really enjoyable. I'm excited to get going. Feet don't fail me now. Exactly. Lungs do your part. This is a good year for wildflowers. It's gorgeous. My senses are overloaded with all the colors. And look at this, nice wild carrots, pretty little asters, it's nice fireweed. The fireweed is just popping, it's just so brilliant. White clover. Oh, that monk's hood is gorgeous there. Oh yeah, dark purple. There absolutely is, yep. That's better than most of my students, even after <laughs> I've done it. Well, today we are your students. In 1985, so we put all these railroad ties in because this gets really marshy and, and subby in here. Makes for a fun little obstacle in the... Yeah, and protects the trail from getting rutted. But it was no fun hauling these up here at the horse. <laughs> I can imagine. It's a lot of labor putting in trail. Watch out for the trolls. But we had a big bridge here, a bit washed up. really love the colors everywhere. Look at Daniel Wayne, look how beautiful that signature is. Oh yeah. I don't mind them in my yard, but they're even prettier out here. Well, you can have a Daniel Wayne salad. Every few steps, it just gets better and better. Beautiful, beautiful. Lots of Indian paintbrush. And paintbrush, all it is is the leaves or the flower. I can't stop staring at all those beautiful flowers. This path is really uh, spotless, so I, I assume that there are people who come out and keep it clean? There's a group called Friends of the Rubies, and they do come out and pick up trash as long as the Forest Service. And just general people who pick up stuff as they see it, you know, pack it in, pack it out. So yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, I don't think that leave no trace can be said enough. Yeah. One fascicle and five needles coming out of it. One, two, three, four, five. So that's limber pine, bristlecone pines, and white pines are the five needle pines. 
it's really neat to be looking up in the pines around here, but right to the right of us here is Thomas Peak. Oh, wow. Quite a nice view right over there. And we've been climbing. Slowly up, up, up. That's what we do. We go up. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. Up, <laughs> up, well, I up. appreciate the slowly part of that. <laughs> we got some elevation to gain, but that means we get to come back down later. Yep. And jump and parachute. <laughs> Escalator, right? <laughs> one foot in front of the other one. Yep. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Okay, let's go to the real top of the world. <laughs> lake right there. You see it kind of hidden in there? Oh, nice. I didn't even see it over the willows. No, it just kind of appears. But the dollar lakes, looking from up at Liberty Pass, just look like little silver dollars just spread out out here. I just want to jump in there and swim a little. <laughs> here we are, Memorial Lake. This is gorgeous. Nice snow bank to take the slade down right into the lake. Beautiful. It feels like a pretty fair accomplishment to reach Lamoille Lake, and it would make a good destination by itself, but our goal is Liberty Pass, and we're only one mile away from it, so we press on. One piece of trail etiquette here. Don't cut the switchbacks. Stay on the trail. So now where do we go from here? We go up. We get to test out our quads and our thighs. And your calves. Feeling like a mountain goat. Shaggy like a mountain goat. By the end of the trail, you smell like a mountain goat. I think I'm already there. <laughs> so we can go sage on our way down off the trail over there. You guys got the ski poles, you're ready to go. I could fall down that, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just roll you down, Dave. Yeah. We want to see some real nice turns, Dave. Well, I might try to turn, but as I'll be rolling, it might be difficult. This is where the little animal has nice cute ears called the pika lives. The pika is really interesting, is it's a mammal, and so it stays, doesn't hibernate in the wintertime, so it has to harvest grass and forbs, and it makes little hay bales, just like it was a rancher, and it stores it in its den, so it has food all winter long to eat. They're little farmers, and they're cute. Now, they make a real distinctive sound too, don't they? Yes, they do, and hopefully we'll hear that distinctive sound when they chirp away as we hike up here. Oh, that was them. That's the sound. At this point, we can really see a change in the terrain. Liberty Pass is above 10,000 feet, and casual hikers can definitely feel it at this elevation. So here we are, Liberty Pass, around 10,500 feet. Here we're coming over. We're coming right over. The first thing you see is Wines Peak in front of us. Oh, Just yeah. absolutely gorgeous. So we made it to the top. Yep, we are with the mountain goats. That's a nice little climb. I feel like I did something today. Yeah, feels great to make it. Back here, there's no mechanized equipment. So you're not supposed to take your snowmobiles or your motorcycles or chainsaws. Feet only? Yep. But now you begin to take a look at one of those spectacular views oh, in the rubies. Wow. Liberty Lake. Deep has nice fishing abilities here. I have said wow a lot on this hike and it does not do this hike justice. <laughs> it's true, you start running out of words. That's pretty spectacular. Fab Lake right below us, Castle Lake over there, North Furlong Lake over there. <laughs> then you come up and you hike right up to Wines Peak and you keep on going down to Overland Lake and then finally at Harrison Pass. That's what they call the Ruby that Crest Trail. That is so amazing. This is one of those views that it's hard to even absorb because it's so pretty. Jerry, thank you for bringing us here. We're not gonna do the whole Ruby Crest Trail today, obviously, but the fact that we've gotten this far is a really beautiful and, and exciting introduction to this area. I want to come back now too, and that's because of you, so thank you for bringing us here. But there's lots of daylight left. We can go, we can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed. No, we're gonna, uh, we think this is probably the right place for us to end our trip, so we're gonna, we're gonna stop here as much as we'd like to continue. It's fitting that we end this trip with a view like this, since this is personally one of my favorite places in the whole world, the Ruby Mountains, and of course, a view that says 
the Nevada Alps. Yeah, I can understand more than ever why you feel the way you do about this place. And it's a great capper to this trip after yesterday when we got to see the airfield at Wendover, learn that history, and then our semi-secret trip to the hot spring. So it's been a really a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it like we did. And until our next Wild Nevada adventure, you get out there and enjoy this beautiful state for yourself.